Hey everybody, welcome back to the Tone Church. We have another quick and dirty after work tube shootout here. I'm trying to uh, see what sounds best in my point to point hand wired 5E3 Deluxe Clone head. You don't have one of those, but I bet you want one. Can't have this one, but maybe in the future you can have one just like it. Anyway, uh, V1 is supposed to have a 12 AY7. And we're going to try out these four tubes. We have a 12AV7 made by CBS. That's the box for it. Uh, 12AY7, that's a Sylvania black plate. We have a Tungsalt Salt 12AT7. And then finally we have an RCA 12AX7 Alpha. Uh, amplification factor on each of these tubes is 41 for the AV, 45, right? For the AY, the AT is a 60, and of course the AX7 is a 100. So we'll uh, pop these in, we'll do a couple of licks, and uh, we'll see how they all sound. Uh, i got to set all this crap up, but you're going to have a uh, SM57 on your left, MXL DX2 on your right. Um, played through this uh, gutted Raven cab with a 1969 Jensen C12R. No post effects, no compression, no EQ, no nothing. And we have the RCA Nippa Dog rooting for RCA. Genuine RCA tubes. And that 12AX7. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, here's the setup. Uh, we're going through the high bright channel. Volume is at whatever that is, 10 o'clock. Tone is just under noon. We're using a Telecaster shaped object made by SX. And here we go, first tube. Here is the 12AV7. Let's hit it. Well, there you have it. I think they all sound pretty cool in their own unique way, but I don't know. I'll have to listen back to the recordings, but I'm kind of leaning towards the AT7. But we'll see what the tail of the tape has to say, and uh, you let us know down in the comments what you think. So uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you learned something. I know I did. And rock on, dudes and dudettes. Bye, Nippa. Done!